so very good morning my dear students today we will discuss velocity analysis of a sigma bar problem considering instantaneous center method okay so already if, uh, we have given the problem in the board so see the problem so here you can see here sigma bar so one Two, three, four, five, and this is six. So that is a six bar. So the crank two rotates with a RPM that is one twenty RPM. The crank is rotated. So the slider D that will reciprocate. Okay, the slider D that will reciprocate. So we have to find out the Instantaneous center. All the instantaneous center we have to find out. And also, we have to find out the velocity b, c, and d. Okay. And also, we have to find out the angular velocity of a b, b c, and c d. Okay. So this is the problem. So the length of all links is given. That OA is given 200 millimeters, LB is given 1.5 meters, BC is given, DC is given 600 millimeter, millimeter, CD is given 500 millimeter, and BE that length is given 400 millimeter, and O2E that distance it is given 1.35 meter. Okay, and the crank, which is makes an angle of 30 degree with the horizontal axis. Okay, so we have to find out the velocity of different point and angular velocity of different link. Okay, so what you have to do? First of all, you have to find out the instantaneous center of all point. Okay, so this link number one that is fixed. One that is also fixed, so consider this one. Okay. Now, first of all, identify the instantaneous centers. So, by inspection, we can find out the different uh, instantaneous center. Suppose that instantaneous center here, you can see there is one turning pair, two, three, four, five turning pairs are there, and Another is sliding pair. Okay. So here instantaneous center there is I one two instantaneous center of this point I two three between two and three then I three four. So here it will be I. One four, that is I four five, that is I five six. Another is just for for sliding pair, that is I one six. As it is a sliding pair, so instantaneous center will be instantaneous center will be uh, horizontal line, that is vertical line, which will be. I one six, which is at infinity. Okay. So by inspection we can find out the instantaneous center of defined into instantaneous center. Now how to find out the instantaneous center? We know Instantaneous center n into n minus one by two. Now here number of bar is six. So six into six minus one divided two. So five into six thirty thirty by two. That means fifteen. So total instantaneous center is fifteen. 
So around the 15 instantaneous center, we have find out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. 7 instantaneous center already we have find out. Remaining instantaneous center we have to find out by using Kennedy's theorem. By using Kennedy's theorem, we have to find out the other instantaneous center. Okay. Now for finding out the instantaneous center by using uh, Kennedy's theorem, we have to make seven points. So suppose to make a circle. You make a circle. Seven points. Six points is as it is six bar. So we have to look at six points. One, two, three, four. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So join 1, 2. So that is I1, 2. Number 1 being 2, 3. This 2. C4 I3 4 1 2 2 3 3 4 that is I3 4 4 5 so that is I4 5 5 6 so that is I5 6 L six seven I six seven uh, six one six one that means one six another is there one four so one four that means you join one four okay so total number of instantaneous center one two three four five six and 7. 7 instantaneous center we have to find out. So remaining instantaneous center we have to find out. So join 1, 3. So if you join 1, 3, so that is I, 1, 3. So I, 1, 3 is in between I, 1, 2, I, 1, 2, I two three and I four I one four and I three four I one four and I three four. So I can see I one two I two three. This I one two and I two three. So make a straight line. Then. I14 and I34. I34 and I14. So you extend this line. So that two line intersect each other. That is I13. Okay. Then I suppose this link I15. So I15 is between I15 is I16 I56 and I14 I14 and I45 I45. Okay, so I one six 
that is I want six, I size six, so that line. Then another is I want four and I four five. I want four and I four five. So you extend this line. So these two lines intersect each other. That is I one five. Okay. Actually, to find out the velocity of A, uh, B, C, and D, and angular velocity of A, B, B, C, and C, D, these four instantaneous, three instantaneous I13, I14, and I15, that three instantaneous will be sufficient. But as for the question, we have to find out the all instantaneous centers. Okay. So, Other instantaneous center we have to find out. Suppose two six. Before going to find out two six, we we'll find out two four. So two four. Two four. In between these two triangles, I two four, I two three, I three four, I two three, I three, I two four, then I two three, I three four, then I one two, I one two, and I one four, I one four. So you can see here, I two three, that is I two three, I three four, that is I three four. So already one line is there. Then I one two and I two four. I one two and I one four. I one two and I one four. So these two lines intersect each other. So that is I two four. So another instantaneous we have find out. So total number of instantaneous already we have find out. That is I one two. I two three, I one three, I four five, I one six, I five six, I two four, I one four, I three four, I one five. Okay, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Ten instantaneous center already have find out. Then one two 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 five. By joining two five, we can find out another instantaneous center. So before going to find out which is the center, two five. So I two five. I two five is I four. I two four. I two four and I four five. And here this triangle I. One two and I one five. Okay, so we can find out I two five. So I two five. Then suppose I four six. I four six. So I four six is. I four five, I five six, then I one four, I one six. Okay, so suppose uh, I four six you need to find out. So I four five, that is I four five, then I five six, that is I five six. So this line already have joined. Then I one four. And I one six, 
I want four and I want six. I want six. I want four and I want six. So I want four and I want six. So as it is a vertical line, so you have to take this line parallel. This parallel line you take it here. So I want four and I want six. It will meet. That is also I want six at infinity. So I want four and I four I want six and I four five and I five six meet here. That is. I four six so I four six okay then suppose I two six I two six so I two six if you see I two six is I two six this line. So in between, I want to, I want six, I want to, I want six, I want to, I want six, and I two five, two five, I five six. Okay. So I want six here, and I want to here. So you take this line parallel to this line. So that is also I one six at infinity. So I one six and I one two. I one six and I one two. Then I two five. So I two five we have not find out. So we have to find out I two five. So I two five is I two four. I two four that is I two four. I four five. Okay, I two four and I I four five. So if we are, then I one two, then I one two, then I one five. I one five. Where is I one five? I one two. I two two five. That is two five. So I one two two five. You have to. One five. So you have to take I one five. So one five that is one five. Okay. So we extend it. I one two and I one five. So you if you join it. So that is I two five. Okay. So I two five, I two five and I five six, I two five and I five six, I two five and I five six. That is I two five and I five six. I two I one two and I two five, I one two and I one six. So it this is the line. Another is. I two five and I I five six. I two five. I two six. I two six. Two six is in between. I one two. I one six. I two five, that is two five, and I five six. So we can join this line. So it will be here. I I two six. Okay. So in that way, so we can find out the different instantaneous centers. So remaining instantaneous center also you can find out by joining this. Then suppose three uh, five, then three six. So if by using this two uh, triangle, suppose this 
टू थ्री टू सिक्स एंड थ्री फोर फोर सिक्स एनदर स्टूडेंट सेंटर वी कैन फाइंड आउट आई थ्री सिक्स देन सपोज थ्री फाइव वी कैन फाइंड आउट थ्री फोर फोर फाइव एंड आई थ्री सिक्स फाइव सिक्स जॉइनिंग वी कैन फाइंड आउट आई थ्री फाइव सो दिस वे वी कैन फाइंड आउट द डिफरेंट इंस्टेंटेरियस सेंटर ओके So these are the method by which you can find out the instantaneous center of different link. Now, what you have to find out? You have to find out the velocity of a b of a already. Uh, We can find out the velocity of a. We can find. We have to find out velocity of b. We have to find out the velocity of c and velocity of d. Okay. So RP is n of RP is given one twenty RPM. It is given. Then angular velocity omega y. So we can find out two pi and y. 60 so 2 into 5 into 120 by 60 so if you solve it we can find out omega y that is equal to 12.57 radian per second okay so omega y we can find out Now, omega y we can find the angular velocity. Suppose that angular velocity that is omega y that is given omega y. So omega y is 12.57. So velocity v a that we know r into omega. So r o a that o a into Omega y, so we can find out the velocity. So that will be the distance was 200 millimeters. So 0.2 into omega y is equal to 12.57. So you solve it. So the velocity uh, that is uh, 2.514 meter per second. That is the angular velocity. Uh, the velocity of a angular velocity you find out 12.57 and velocity is 2.514 meter per second now you have to find out the velocity of b c and d so how to find out this velocity so first of all you have to measure this distance you have to measure this distance a i1 i13 Then you have to measure this distance. B I one five. We have to measure this distance of C of that is I one four two I one three. That distance you have to find out by measurement. By first of all you have to uh, by using some suitable scale. Then we have to find out this distance by measuring this measurement. Okay. So. Now you have to find out the velocity of B, C, and D. So for that we need the instantaneous center I one three, I one four, and I one five. So these are the common, common instantaneous center. Suppose for the link A B, for the link A B the common instantaneous center is I one three. Okay. So I one three is the common instantaneous center. So we know the velocity. Va by Vb, Va by Vb, this common instantaneous center, I one three a, I one three a by I one three b. Okay, 
so vv is equal to v a by i one three b into i one three uh, i one three vv is equal to into i one three to b okay so i13 into b i13 b that distance you have to measure so you have to put the value i13 b and i13 a that distance also you have to measure you measure this distance by using some suitable scale so we can find out velocity v i is already known you have find out velocity okay so put the velocity v uh, we can find out this vv okay Next, you have to find out the velocity of C. Okay, so common instantaneous center is I one four. I one four is the common instantaneous center of B and C. So V B by V C. V B by V C. That is equal to I one four B by I one four C I one four B and I one four C. So V C is equal to V B by I one four B into I one four C. So already I find out the instant uh, uh, velocity of B. So put the velocity of B, then I one four B, I one four B that distance, and I one four C that distance. So put the value. We can find out the V C. Okay. Next we have to find out the uh, velocity of D. We have to find out the velocity of G. So V C by V D V C by V D. So common instantaneous center is I one five. So there is common instantaneous I one five. So V C by V D V C by V D is equal to I one five C by I one five D. So V D is equal to V C divided by I one five C into I one one five into D. Okay. So put the value V C. V C is already known. The I one five C that distance you measure and I one five D that distance you measure. By measurement, so we can find out the V D. Okay. So we have find out the velocity B C and D. Now we have to find out the angular velocity of, as we have find out, P A, B B, B C, V D. Already we have find out. Now we have to find out. Omega AB, Omega BC, and Omega CD. That we have to find out. Okay, so how to uh, find out this Omega AB angular velocity of this AB? Okay, so we know uh, that v is equal to r omega. So v is equal to r omega. So omega is equal to omega is equal to v by r. So v a b omega a b that means v uh, a a b v a already we have found out. We already have found out. Vi 
I want to add okay so we already we have find out we already have find out so I want to add the distance so you can find out I omega a and b so you have to find out the angular velocity of this link then omega bc omega bc this is the omega bc okay so omega bc is equal to again vb by this radius so i14 into the distance c i14 so bc so so i14 into that b that distance okay so we can find out this angular velocity of that link next we have to find out the angular velocity of omega cd omega cd so bcd also uh, already we have know we know that bcd velocity also we, we know so bcd that is equal to bcd then this radius is r omega so that this is the common center of uh, i uh, instant center of this link so that distance will be i15 into c so i15 into c so i have found that distance is known so bcd is also known okay so we also find out this angular velocity of cd so here you can see that by we have first of all we have find out the different instantaneous center then we have find out the angular uh, velocity of a then we find out the velocity of b then we find out the velocity of c and we have find out the velocity of d next we have find out the angular velocity of ab angular velocity of bc and angular velocity of cd so that is the angular velocity of the parent link okay so that is the method to find out the velocity and angular velocity of a sig bar mechanism okay so hope i have understood thank you